Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so we have a slightly different video for you guys today. As you can see from the title, I have new boobs. Um, so I underwent breast enlargement, what was we today? We Friday, nearly two weeks ago now. Two weeks ago, that is madness. That has gone so, so quickly. And yeah, I just wanted to share like my experience with you guys um, and just do a little bit of a QA and a basically. I had every single intention of vlogging this process. Um, I did like an intro the day before my surgery and then honestly that day just literally flew by and I did not get any footage <laughs> whatsoever. And then like the few days after surgery, there was no way in hell that I was going to get any footage. So hats off to people that have done vlogs because I round of applause because yeah I failed miserably at that so anyway I thought I would do a QA. and a I popped a little question box on my Instagram stories and you sent so many questions through quite a lot of them were similar questions so I've got seven questions um that I'm gonna answer for you guys today and just basically outline my experience and the exact process that I went through um, just to put it out there as well, I don't want to come across like I am promoting surgery. Um, this is something that I have thought about having for six years now. I've done so much research. I've been to endless amounts of consultations. So yeah, but yeah. this is not something that I've just thought about one day. Oh, I'm going to get a boob job and then went and got one. This is something that has been, I've been so self-conscious of my boobs, obviously before now, for so many years and was just waiting for them to grow and they just never did. Yeah, I will crack on with the questions before I ramble on for way too long. So let's have a little look at these. Um, so the first question is, where did you get them done and which surgeon? So I got mine done through Transform. Um, I've had, I think about two other consultations with them, or maybe three, two or three consultations over the six year period. Um, I know I'd always wanted to, wanted to go with Transform. I've known quite a few people that have gone with Transform. Um, so yeah, I kind of was set on the place that I was gonna go through. And then surgeons, I went with Ben Coda. And again, that was just purely through recommendation. I have three friends now, three? Three friends that have gone through Ben. So it was a no brainer for me. Um, for me, that's just, I like to go by recommendation. I've obviously seen my friend's boobs and they're amazing so yeah ben was a no-brainer for me um i think his work is great i feel like he made me feel so comfortable um he knew exactly what i wanted and gave me guidance to achieve that result um and i just put and um, i feel like you just need to feel comfortable with your surgeon so you can put all of your trust in them i feel like it is good to do your research with surgeons obviously for me it was a little bit easier just because i did know people that had gone with him so i felt comfortable from him from the get-go just because i knew his results were amazing um so yeah just bear that in mind um and yeah i'm honestly so happy with the results there were a few things that like i went in thinking i was gonna get and then he was like oh i think you should go with this and I put my full on trust in him and I'm so happy I did because honestly, so happy with the results. Like I absolutely love them. And they're still obviously quite new. So they still, they take around three months to like fluff and drop and things like that. So I'm only on two weeks. So the fact that I love them already, I know that I'll just love them even more when they just get a little bit more natural and softer basically. Okay, next one is how much did it cost? So all places and all, I don't know if surgeons vary, but I know that it can vary quite a lot. For me personally, the um, cost of the procedure was 5,200 pounds. But like I said, I know that it completely varies because some people can get uplifts and have a correction and things like that. So I'd say around the ballpark, it's usually around that mark. Um, but yeah, I know for some people it can be up to like 9,000 pounds if they have like uplifts and things like that. So don't take my price, like, don't take my word for it only because I know for everyone it is slightly different as well. Um, but yeah, that was my price. Third one was basically, can you tell me the exact process? Um, so basically because of COVID, mine's probably been a little bit longer than what your normal one would be. Um, so back, so back in January, I was speaking to Ben on Instagram and then we then followed up with a Zoom online kind of like consultation, like that first, um, first meeting basically in that first consultation he was basically asking me why i wanted it done what i wasn't happy about my current boobs um what i wanted to achieve what the kind of roughly size i was looking for um 
ask a little bit about my background, like who you're living with. Um, and just a kind of like really informal conversation initially. And then obviously he asked me to take my top off just so he could have a look at my boobs and see if there was anything that like he could initially see from them um, and things like that. And I feel like because I had done previous consultations before, I did kind of know what to expect. Um, you do, when you go in to the um like clinics you can have like a chaperone if you prefer someone else to be in there when you take your top off um but for me i was i was kind of comfortable with that i knew the procedure and i knew that i knew what to expect basically um so he did that he had a look at my boobs and kind of just said da, da, da. for me um one thing that he pointed out is that i do have quite mine are quite wide in the middle if that makes sense like a, is it the breastbone like and it kind of like dips and that's something that he told me and that's something that I knew so he obviously said to me what we want to achieve is just like a more of a natural cleavage for you um and instantly again once he said that I was just like he knew exactly what I want before I'd even said it um so then he was like um what like roughly cup size would you like to be um and I said I kind of wanted to be like a small d um sort of size um obviously it's kind of it's really hard to choose an implant say i want to be a d what implant should i get and you can't go by that because everyone's boobs is different beforehand and it's really hard to judge so i knew that i wanted to be around a d anyway we continued our consultation and then um he because you can't obviously couldn't go into the clinic at this point um to try on the implants you had to make up rice bags and actually these were a really really good way because i've tried implants on before and i find they're really hard to see what works best for you because they just sit on top of your boob in the like bra that you put them in whereas the rice bags were really good because you could kind of like mold them around your boob and like really see what they were going to be like after um so for me he said to try between 300 and 350 so that's what i did and i spent some weekends wearing the rice bags all the time you'd put them in a sports bra so you can't see them um you can obviously just they're just fuller basically um, and I did that some days I'd wear it all day I'd go out in them and just like kind of like look at myself in the mirror just to get comfortable and see what size um, that I wanted so from that um, so that was in January and then fast forward February because not really a lot happened obviously we were still in a lockdown and then we got to March um, and I just was like in contact with Ben the whole time and just following up like oh do you think we'll be able to get surgery this month and kid you not I think it was the 12th 13th of March and I had a call from Transform and they were like look like I know it's like last minute but if you can get to Birmingham on Tuesday which is the 16th just to go and meet Ben and get your um measurements fully measured up um and things like that and completely decide on the size we can get you in for surgery on the Saturday so I had a week's notice. So it was kind of like, I was like, ah, like, oh my God. I was like, let me call you back. And I was like, oh my God, what do I do? Do I do it now? And then Jim was like, you might as well just get it over and done with because it's less thinking about. The thing that I was most concerned with was work. Like, obviously for me, I would have had to, I had to like pre-take quite a lot of content. And with that time, I had quite a lot on that week. I had like my hair shoot and things like that. I'd only really managed to get enough for a week. And I was like, oh, is that going to be enough? So I was kind of stressing about that a bit. And I was like, do you know what? let's just go for it i've been waiting for this for so long like this is my time it's meant to be it's in a week's time i'm not going to be stressing about it too much because i'm so busy let's just do it so anyway we did we did that and i'm so glad i did because i was quite nervous that whole week so if i had to wait like a month i think i would have been nervous for like a whole month um so anyway with that phone call on the saturday on the tuesday i then went to birmingham where ben like measured me and where we fully decided on a size I chose the size and then that was that basically headed home and then on friday i had my no on saturday oh yeah before that as well i had um a phone call for my pre-op just telling me like not to eat before this amount of time um and things like that and just checking of any like previous history and things like that obviously asking if i've been under like anesthetic before all those types of questions and then on saturday we headed to birmingham in the morning my admission time was 10 30 so we got there for 10 30 I had to wait around half an hour 45 minutes for my bed just because they're having a little bit of an issue with discharges at the minute because people can't go in with you so they're having to wait for someone to pick someone up if that makes sense um so anyway i waited around then and then um i got called into my room ben came in drew all over me um did all that and he was like right it's a quick turnaround for you today he was like i'm just i've 
just doing one now and then you're next and honestly by the time I was like speaking to the nurse done all the questionnaire didn't even have time to like really breathe put my gown on and I was straight into surgery it was so so quick I've got another question which is a bit, little bit more related to like the recovery and pain so I'll go with that into the next one because I feel like I've just rambled on a lot for that question um okay so next question did you ask family friends boyfriend for advice and did you let their thoughts affect your decision now I feel like this is a very 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 important question because they you actually have to answer quite a lot of these questions when you go through transform as well and for me personally it was a decision that I needed to make myself it was for my body it was for my body does that make sense it was like it's my body not it's for my body it's my body and that decision needs to be made solely by me so I didn't really ask I didn't ask Jamie for advice I didn't ask my mum for advice or friends the only friends that I asked advice for was the ones that had had it done just regards to size um it needs to be a decision that is solely made by you because it is your body do not let any boyfriend husband tell you that you need to get a your boobs done oh my god it is such a massive thing if you're happy with your body then they should be happy with the way that you are regardless of getting a boob job or not um so yeah just in light with that question i basically i obviously told them i was getting it done jamie had known that i'd wanted to get it done because i was so self-conscious myself like he'd never he'd never said oh you need to get one done i just always said oh my god yeah one day i'm definitely gonna get my boobs done like i can remember even when we first started like going out like it before we'd get into bed and I'd like, I'd like get into bed with a t-shirt but I'd like make sure the light was turned off before I took my top off like that's how self-conscious I was about it there wasn't really ever a question like oh you should get your boobs done with between me and Jamie because he knew that I'd always wanted the, them done and it was just about finding the right time for me and again I didn't let anyone persuade that I'd been to like two consultations before and then like straight after them I was like oh I'm like I'm like not sure I was like I don't want to rush into it now because I'm not sure of myself um and it's a massive decision just to rush into and then um with our wedding being delayed um obviously we were supposed to get married last year so that was another reason why i hadn't got them done um and with our wedding being delayed till next year it gives me like a year and three months for them to fully like recover fully drop and fluff and just be as natural as possible so that's why i was like right i want to get them done as soon as possible like now and it's I'm so glad I did like I do so part of me does think oh, I could have got them done like a couple of years ago but I feel like it's meant to be I picked different sizes and things like that when I'd gone before and I feel like this is the perfect size for me so I'm super super happy but yeah basically do not let anyone else affect your decision like I completely understand if you want to get sort of like guidance or stuff from people that have had them done previously um with like my parents I just said to them I wanted to get it done my mum knew that I'd always wanted to get it done and I just asked her to basically let my dad know that I was having surgery I felt like a bit weird to call my dad up and be like hi dad I'm having a boob job <laughs> I just found that a bit weird so I just asked my mum to basically tell him but next question what size profile implant did you get so I got 325 cc um, and I got moderate plus extra and I also got mine dual plane so it's not it's like in a little pocket in between being over and under so you can either have under dual plane or over I had dual plane and then profile wise I think it's like moderate plus moderate plus extra high profile and then I think there's like extra high profile or something like that so i got moderate plus um for me personally the reason why i got moderate plus extra it's because they're kind of like more of a wider implant just so i could get that more natural cleavage um just so like for example moderate plus extra the implant is like that and the high profile the implant is like that so it's just the profile and the projection of the implant so yeah 325 cc moderate plus extra dual plane that was my procedure and i'm honestly so so happy with the results how have you found the recovery is it a lot is it painful now this is a really hard one because now i look back at it i'm like what oh, really wasn't that bad but i feel like days one and two i was like oh my god what have i done um so i remember waking up from surgery and instantly being i was i was sitting like this i was laying asleep i opened my eyes and i was like please get out of painkillers that's the first thing that I said and I think they gave me a muscle relax and then and then wheeled me back to my room and then like I said that completely knocked me out and I was asleep for about an hour and a half and then I remember waking up after that and not feeling in any pain at all it was just a lot of discomfort the only way that I could 
describe it really it's like someone sat on your chest um i also did have one of the macom bands as well i've just got my post-surgical surgical bra on now because i'm two weeks um i don't have to wear the band anymore i just wear the band at night um and i feel like the band is what puts quite a lot of pressure obviously they want to make sure the implants are pushed down and they don't rise um so that's the reason for the band and that's all i can describe it as it was just a discomfort i actually didn't apart from that muscle relaxant straight after i woke up i didn't have any further painkillers i didn't need any top-ups or anything until i got in the car i just thought oh, do you know what i better take some paracetamol just in case it's a bit more uncomfortable with the bumps um and yeah it was just more discomfort and then breathing wise i found initially it kind of felt like i had what i thought it would be like to have asthma um just like yeah really short of breath and things like that but that literally eased so so quickly um days one and two i was pretty much bed bound i would obviously get up to try and walk around the kitchen and just get a little bit of movement they do encourage you to move as much as possible um and obviously go into the toilet and stuff but apart from that i didn't really do much days one and two and then i remember day three thinking right i feel a lot better today i'm gonna have a shower i wash my hair i was literally like this <laughs> um because that's just the main thing you can't really like now i can lift my arms to there but i was probably about here um on those days and i also had tape around like my armpit which was again restricting my arms um and then day four i felt absolutely fine it was weird i remember when my friends had got it and they would say there's just one day and you wake up and you're absolutely fine and i was like mm, surely not but it is it's so true i feel like the pain is so manageable it is just a lot of di discomfort and a bit like achy and things like that but so 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 manageable definitely you'll need help for probably the first like four to five days i'd say um jamie did everything for me i was so grateful for that because it was just that it's really hard to move your arms so like making a cup of tea, things like that was a no-go for me. I literally, but then I did kind of know that, so I didn't even try. Um, Jamie just literally did, cooked, did all the drinks, literally gave me everything for like the first four or five days really. And then the last question is, do you feel better in yourself for having them done? Oh my God, 100% yes. Just for me, I feel like because I'm I'm just quite broad on my shoulders, I've got a really, really small waist and then quite a big bum. I just felt my body was so out of proportion and I would look like at me from the side and it would literally just be flat. I had like no boob up here and I just had a tiny bit of side boob and that was it. Um, I'd never really got myself measured. Don't even know what size I was. I used to wear a 32B, but I was probably a 32A to be honest. Um, and yeah i just feel so confident with them already i just feel i just and i think the main thing for me that i know i'm going to feel most confident is now where i wear a bikini because i'd wear like a triangle bikini and it would literally just be flat and i'm so excited to actually just feel more myself and just feel just nicer and i know people says that oh you shouldn't just have surgery to do that and i think if it's just going to make you feel more confident and feel better in yourself then why not um like honestly i look in the mirror every day and like have a little have a little be really giddy because i'm just so happy that i've done it um they suit they do really really suit my body shape and that's exactly what i wanted this is like what i should have been born with this size is what i should have had um basically i'm just going to kind of like show you with me stood up i've got my um post-surgical bra underneath so that is them i will try and find actually a video of me wearing this top before so you can see i can't remember if i did might have had a push-up bra though um sorry if you can see my nipples there but this um post-surgical bra is literally like mesh so this is like the size of my boobs and i'm just honestly so so happy with them i'll try and show you from all angles um i will try and pop actually a before and after because i did take quite a lot of befores um i just need to find one that's not outing myself too much on the internet um but yeah um thank you all so much for your messages as well on instagram and stuff just wishing me well and like a speedy recovery you're all just so lovely and i love you all so much um but yeah that is the end of this video i will probably do maybe like a little three month um update so if you're interested in that please let me know down in the comments below and i shall see you guys in the next video bye